ain't about to sit here and talk about two rich white people that excel in their careers. One for sucking the lollipop of the president of the United States and the other one for continuing to look like one of the greatest presidents of the United States even after this affair. So I'm on more of a Sarah Haynes side and I'm going to give y'all my perspective on this. Let's talk about it. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I'd really appreciate it if you, if you subscribe and you do click the bell. I also appreciate your concerns and, and everything about my video on my second channel, JOA TV, about how I was feeling depressed. Uh, make sure you go subscribe there as well if you haven't. So thank you so much. I want you guys to watch this clip. Now, this is part two, okay? They, they did two parts. I'm only playing the part where I saw, okay, this is... Because this was trending. This was trending on social media, okay? And I'll come back with some more. Much, I just think when you talk about consequences, though, and you allow public groups to decide that, in a court of law in this country, there's a judge and a jury, and we decide and we put in our opinion. With someone like Monica, I would ask the table, how much time did she need to serve? Like, for what she did, like, you imagine, I always try to put myself in those shoes. I'm 22. I make a mistake. I know it's wrong. How long should I be punished? Is she being punished? Look, I think she was. Like, when she talks about it, she almost changed her name. It got so bad. Yeah, but but she there... said that, I, I liked this. She said, Bill Clinton didn't have to change his, so why should I have to change mine? I kind of liked that. But, look, you know what? They're, frankly, they're both going to carry this the rest of their lives. It's going to be in their obituary. It's going to be in Monica Lewinsky's obituary that yeah. she had an affair with the President of the United States. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be in Bill Clinton's obituary that he got impeached for perjury for having an affair with a... You know what's funny doctor. about this? Even you know what's funny? I'm so old. I remember when John Kennedy was having pool parties at the White House. Yeah. Where they would bring in girls and nobody knew about it. Nobody cared. And he has never... Affair. Nobody used it as a political pawn in those days either. Mm -hmm. Well, but maybe, it, maybe even, Trump and Clinton should have run in the 60s. I can't let this go, though. <laughs> That's right. It's just, but even... Yeah, so they, they should have been... They're, they're, they're out of their, you know, time zone. So even, you, you see Monica as a victim. I see her m more victim. This is... Why? I even think in equalizing that they both did something wrong is minimizing what was done here. You've got a grown man who is married, had took vows, has loyalties and fidelity to a wife. He chose to be a dog, which we've forgiven for years, which is what you were just referring to. Right. She was a girl that didn't have a string of these types of things. She didn't have a history of potential assault <coughs> or abuse of power. She was 22. But what is her responsibility in it? it? She did. She needs to, for herself, I would say, in a spiritual or religious sense, if because if, that's where I come at it often with marriage, she needs to have her conversations with her higher power, whatever that is. She needs mm -hmm. to decide with them. It's not for me to judge her. I can say she owned up to I made a mistake. But to say they both just made mistakes is to even putting them on the same Should level. Should she be making her career now? Off of that mistake. I don't think she is, though. I think there were she's things she's producing she... movies about, about. Yeah, but it. that in the Me Too movement is saying you deserve to be heard. Let us hear your story because mm -hmm. someone else didn't. She didn't get to tell her as openly and say in that so day she, gave a she talk, was fat she shamed. A movie, she was slut shamed. And now she's producing she another was, movie. Yeah, but like, thank God she told a scene that was mortifying. That if you had to, if you're going to make a movie and make it about you, you make it comfortable and but safe he, and he cut things out. She insisted on this one scene that was so probably triggering. But three, for movie, that, three movies later, yeah, but is it Sonny, enough? He I also do, has made plenty of money since then. Yeah, yeah. plenty of money. So, He's been doing speeches all over the place. He's considered for, the for hundreds statesman. of thousands and millions so, of yeah, dollars. He remained he, foundation. three well, movies later. I she, think that she has become she I don't think, now. I think it shows you that she doesn't feel like a victim anymore. No, she's empowered no, that's now. Right. Yeah, and yeah, that's good for her. Right. I don't know if I still call her victim. I definitely think she was. A I don't know, but I'll tell you what. She looks like a, a very good Jenny Craig spokesperson because she's lost a lot of weight. In her she look, I ain't noticed at first, but Monica Lewinsky just got, you know, the thing from married men, okay? She allegedly had an affair before this, before the whole Bill Clinton situation. She had an affair, allegedly, with her former high school teacher, from 17 years old to like 22 years old, okay? And she allegedly told him, according to the Washington Post, she allegedly told him that she is with a, what she called, or what he said she called, I think uh, a creep, you know, in the White House, like she's having an affair with a creep in the White House, okay? So she has the 
the thing for married men, and a lot of people do. A lot of people just like a man with a married finger, you know, with, with a little ring on their finger. They like being a side chick or the side dude. I tell people this now uh, all the time, even with straight relationships. I tell them, you know, you, you know, you the woman, and you worried about your man cheating with a girl, baby. It's not just a side. It's not just about the side chick anymore. It's the side dude too. Okay, because we live in a time where people, you know, they're getting comfortable with their sexuality. So maybe if you're watching this and you're a woman, your man cheating on you, or you suspect, or you suspect cheating, don't just worry about the side chick. It's the side dude. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling the truth. I see it all the time. I really don't know what her intention was with going to the White House, but I'm just starting to think, based on that that, that article I read from the Washington Post, I'm starting to think her intention was to get with a married man, okay, to get with Bill Clinton, okay, because, you know, the man wasn't ugly, he, he was attractive uh, as a president, um, and I'm with Sarah in this whole situation because we often look at the side girl, the side chick, the side dude, the person that came into and, and ruined the marriage. No, Monica Lewinsky did not ruin this man, this man's marriage. Bill Clinton ruined his own damn marriage. And at the end of the day, it ended up hurting Hillary Clinton. And I do feel like it, it hurted her career politically because that was a big jab um, in debates, especially with the debates between Hillary and, and, and Donald Trump. And Bill Clinton is still a damn dog. I don't know if y'all watched the Aretha Franklin funeral when Ariana Grande performed. Did y'all see how that man ha had looked at Ariana Grande like she was a steak on a hot platter, okay? Sizzling, medium rare, going to be well done, okay? Y'all told me don't get your steak well done. So medium rare steak about to be well done. She was looking at that man. He, she, he was looking at her like, you know, she was like, he wanted to, he wanted to eat her punani, you know what I mean? So, it's like, he's a dog, and I'm surprised, I hope, when I'm at that age, my um, penis still go up, because his shit apparently still go up, and I, till this day, still believe that Monica Lewinsky was not his first, and of course, there's reports, the View talked about it, that of, of him abusing his power with women, allegedly, during his career, and you know, the whole situation with the Epstein Island, and so... I firmly believe that his marriage to Hillary Clinton is just a business marriage. I don't think they even have sex at all. I, you know, you can just look at them and tell they don't have sex. And um, I even came to say that even before Monica, I'm sure he had an, uh, one, uh, one or other two girls. I mean, didn't him and Hillary met in college? Bill and Hillary met in college, right? They met in like when they were in school, right? So I'm sure he had other girls. And I'm sure he had other girls after Monica. And so why am I on here talking about this? So yeah, Monica did not ruin his marriage. Bill ruined the marriage, okay? And had I been Monica and had I been in this situation knowing that this story is global and now my sort of quote-unquote reputation is ruined because this is a public story when you know damn sure your next door neighbor doing it, your principal at your high school might be doing it, your hair salon person may be doing it, the person that um give you a Brazilian wax may be doing it. This this infidelity bullshit happens every single day. Hell, it is 6.14 as I am recording this video. 6.14 p.m. I'm sure there's 10,000s of people doing it right now against their wives or women doing it against their husbands. This happens all the time. How my next door neighbor across the street was doing it with the girl next door that's a nurse and she's married to a man that is like bald headed that looks like common, but he is white and he is built, okay? Like he is muscular built, good looking, right? And so, and he, uh, this is probably a video that I need to do on my second channel. <laughs> Y'all, the man tried to holler at me. I'm just going to say that, okay? That's why I said, no, it's not just the side dude or the side chick, okay? It's 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 either or now because we live in a climate where it's like now your sexual people are more open with being gay or bisexual or whatever. But so what I'm saying is this happens all the time. And so had I been in Monica Lewinsky's shoes, hell yeah, if I can't get a job at the La Quinta Inn down the street, Hell yeah, I'm going to do a documentary about this. Hell yeah, I'm going to do a TED Talk about this. Hell yeah, I'm going to produce movies and films and scripts about this situation because it's like my life has been ruined because this has been done publicly. And yes, what she did was wrong, but these things happen every day with women going against their marriages and men going against their marriages, but they're still, they're sort of able to go on with their lives. And I feel like her punishment as a woman is very, very crucial. So yes, I will make sure I am worth millions of dollars as she is worth now by continually talking about this because 
whenever you think of Monica Lewinsky, you think of that. It's in songs. It's not just her talking about it. Rappers talked about it in their songs and everything. So it's like it's 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 already painted. Lewinsky, you think of you think of Bill Clinton when you or you think of her sucking his 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 stick. OK, so I am mad at the girl capitalizing. She's still beautiful. She still look good. Call her a hoe, whatever you want to call it, all you want. But what I'm saying is, is I don't blame her for capitalizing off the money because he done so as well, talking about it continuously. And um, he was seen as this great president, almost trying to get a Middle Eastern peace deal with Yasser Arafat and the former prime minister of Israel at that time. And I'm just like, while this girl has been given the scarlet letter on her chest and, and put on, under a dungeon in a lockbox because, you know, she's a woman and she made a mistake, but he made a mistake, too, as a man. So do you, baby? Do you, Monica Lewinsky? Do you? Anyway, y'all, <laughs> thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe and click the bell. She'll be the first to know when I upload. She looks good. She still look good. She looked better now, I feel, than she looked as an intern based on those pictures. But she looks. she's a beautiful woman. She's very attractive. Uh, to subscribe and click the bell. Deuces. Yeah.